In today's Fortnite video, we are going to be looking at the 15 rarest Fortnite skins. First up, we have the Rose Team Leader. This was part of the Save the World Founders Edition that was only available for the first few seasons in Fortnite. This is considered one of the rarest skins in the game because not too many people were really interested in Save the World when the game first came out and people weren't really going to spend money in order to get this along with a few skins when Battle Royale was the main reason why people of playing this game. You can no longer get this skin and it is never going to return to the store again, so it is definitely one of the rarest skins on this list. The next skin we have to talk about is the Black Knight. All of you guys know the Black Knight, it is one of the most iconic Fortnite skins I think we have ever seen. This was part of the first ever battle pass in Fortnite and not too many people really bought this. You had to grind your way up to level 70 to unlock this and like every other battle pass skin in the game, this is never going to return again. Another bundle that will never return to the game though are the Twitch Prime bundles. We actually have had a few of these in Fortnite. The first one was in Fortnite Season 2 and we got Havoc and the Sub Commander skins and then one season later we got a brand new bundle with the Trailblazer skin. These are some of the coolest packs I think we have in Fortnite. You could actually get these for free as well which is why a lot of people from the OG days were using these skins. A lot of the people that were playing this game when they first got added though don't really play it too much anymore and that is why these are considered some of the rarest skins in Fortnite. Another really rare skin has to be Rue. This is one of my favorite skins on this list, but considering it has been in the game for only two years now, it is only featured in the item shop twice. Usually skins that have featured in the game for as long as this do reappear quite often, but we haven't seen Rue in over two years. This is so insane. I think a lot of people would buy this when it does return to the store, so hopefully we do see this in Season 2. Let's talk about another super exclusive skin, guys, and we have Eon. This was an Xbox exclusive skin and you had to buy a whole brand new console in order to get this. I think the design of this skin is really cool, but considering you had to pay around $400 in order to get it, that is why this skin is so rare. We only really saw big Fortnite YouTubers and content creators using this skin, and since you can no longer get this anymore, those are some of the only people in the world that actually own it. Similar to this, another super rare skin that will never be available again is the Stealth Reflex. If you guys remember a few years ago, we actually could get the Reflex skin for buying a Nvidia graphics card. Fortnite then added this skin to the item shop only a few days later, and the Fortnite community definitely was not happy about this, and that is why Fortnite decided to add an edit style known as Stealth Reflex for all of the people that actually bought this graphics card. I think this design is really sick. It is sort of known as Fresh's main skin as well, which is why a lot of people know about this skin, but not too many people own it. That takes us to the number 9 position though, and we have Wonder. Wonder is definitely one of my favorite skins on this list. If I had to buy an exclusive skin, this would be one of them. I think the design of this is really sick, but again, you had to buy a brand new Samsung Galaxy phone in order to get this, which would set you back around $1,000. The next rare skin that we have to talk about though is Midas Rex. Now, some of you guys might not agree with this because Midas Rex isn't really known as a rare skin, but I definitely think it is one of the rarest in the game. It was part of the Last Laugh bundle, which is one of the most expensive bundles we have seen in Fortnite, coming in at around 40 US dollars, and we never really saw a lot of people buying this bundle. I think this skin is easily the most underrated one from this bundle as well. We only really see YouTubers and streamers using this, and that was only when this bundle first got released. So if you guys do own Midas Rex, I really do think it is one of the rarest skins we have seen over the last few seasons. Let's move forward to the number 7 position though, and we have Galaxy. I definitely don't need to talk about Galaxy too much, you guys all know how rare and exclusive this skin is. Similar to Wonder, you did have to buy a brand new phone in order to get this as well, and that would set you back $1,000. It is definitely one of the coolest looking exclusive skins in the game, but let's move forward to another really good exclusive skin, and this is Iconic. Similar to Galaxy and Wonder, you also had to pay $1,000 in order to get this. This is definitely one of the more underrated exclusive skins in the game. A lot of exclusive skins have this really creative design and a lot of bright colors, but Iconic is really really subtle and low key and I think that is actually what makes this skin so good. We still see people using this today but it is always going to be one of the rarest Fortnite skins. One skin that I really wish I had in my Fortnite account though is Wildcat. 
Wildcat is one of the best Nintendo exclusive skins we have seen added to the game. You had to buy an exclusive Nintendo Switch console in order to get a code for this skin. We do have three different edit styles for it as well, but considering you had to spend around $400 in order to get it, is why it is one of the rarest skins in the game. We have seen a lot of people using this, it probably has been the most exclusive crossover skin in Fortnite, but I still think it is also one of the rarest skins. This promotion has now ended as well, so you will never be able to get Wildcat again. Now we are really getting to the super OG skins though, and we have the Aerial Assault Trooper. This is only available during the Season 1 Seasonal Shop, and it will never return to the store again. A lot of people actually do argue that this is the rarest Fortnite skin, and that is because when this was available during Season 1, a lot of people chose to buy the other skins in the Seasonal Shop instead of the Aerial Aerial Assault Trooper. I still think this skin is really sick, and if you guys do own it, you definitely own one of the rarest skins in the game. Next up though, we have the Purple Skull Trooper. We all know about the Purple Skull Trooper, it is one of the best designed Fortnite skins in history. I really love the design of this skin, and I really do think this is one Fortnite skin we all wish we had. The design is so incredible, even the default Skull Trooper is still really, really sick, but if you guys did buy the Skull Trooper during the first few Few months of Fortnite, then you would also have this exclusive purple style. Similar to this though, we also have to talk about the pink Ghoul Trooper. If you guys bought the original Ghoul Trooper skin during the first few months of Fortnite, then you would have also got an exclusive pink style when this did return to the store. The pink style is the rarest style of this skin. We see a lot of people using the default Ghoul Trooper, but the pink Ghoul Trooper has to be the best. The design is just so good, it looks so, so clean, and it is one skin that I think we all wish we had. But finally guys, we have to talk about the rarest Fortnite skin, and this is the Renegade Raider. Now this might not be the rarest skin out of all of the ones we have mentioned on this list, but I think it is one skin that we all wish we owned. The design is so iconic, it is probably the most famous Fortnite skin in the world right now as well. We have had so many skins added to the game that look like this, including the Gingerbread Raider, Skeletara, Blaze, and so many more, but nothing is ever going to compare to the original Renegade Raider. This skin was also available during the Season 1 Seasonal Shop at the exact same time as the Aerial Assault Trooper. A lot of people do think the Aerial Assault Trooper is a little bit more rare because more people did tend to buy the Renegade Raider, but again, since these were introduced at the very start of Fortnite and are both some of the rarest skins in the game, I think the Renegade Raider is the skin that more people wish they owned. But there you guys go, that is my video for the rarest Fortnite skins. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and make sure to let me know in the comments down below which Fortnite skins you wish you owned. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you are new, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.